What's good, Live Lean Nation? On today's episode of Live Lean TV, I'm taking you for a free ride into the inner circle of TeamLiveLean.com, where we show you how to turn not so healthy traditional food that you enjoy into Live Leanified five star ingredients that your taste buds and more importantly, your body will love. So, here's just a little taste of one of the cooking lesson recipe videos on our inner circle member site at TeamLiveLean.com, not to mention a four week workout program every single month and a whole lot more. So, enjoy the insider look. Oh man, you guys are in for a treat. Another sweet cooking lesson recipe video for you on Team Live Lean, a sweet potato pasta bolognese. Damn, that's gonna be good. As always, all the ingredients in this recipe are five star, Live Lean approved. This is what you wanna be feeding your body to Live Lean. All right, first step is we are going to dice up this onion here. So let's move this off our cutting board and get slicing. I always slice from pole to pole with an onion, so slice it in half first. Set one aside over here, and then you wanna cut off the, the end pieces. We'll peel the skin off. All right, so there is our onion. Now let's slice it up. So you see the onion is nice and finely diced up. You'll notice in a lot of the recipes here on Team Live Lean, we always cook with onion to begin with, or most of the time we cook with onion because it adds so much flavor and there's a lot of really healthy properties to onions. So eat your onions. Now let's slice up the other half. All right, next up, let's chop up our red pepper. We'll start off by cutting off the top portion of that. Let's poke out that green stem. Cut the other side of the red pepper. Set that aside, and then we want to cut out that middle piece. So simple to do, slide one side down, and then just take out that piece like that there, pull out the rest of the, the white insides, and then we just slice away. Red pepper's chopped up, now let's chop up these mushrooms back here. Let's give ourselves another cutting board. And all we're gonna do with these guys, simply slice them up just like that. One of the ways to make cooking a lot more enjoyable is get a good set of cutting knives and make sure they are sharp. As you can now see, we have our vegetables that we're gonna saute up, they're all chopped up, so let's get out our frying pan and we're gonna heat this up over medium heat. We're not gonna go too high with the heat because we're using olive oil to saute this up. Let's add in approximately two tablespoons of olive oil. I'll measure this out. There we go, we'll allow that to heat up just for a few seconds. Okay, so let's add the onions to the pan and you could also use coconut oil here if you wanna heat up the pan a little bit more, but since we're using olive oil, like I said before, too high of a heat when you're cooking with olive oil can oxidate it, so we're using a lower heat. But go with coconut oil if you wanna crank up the heat a little bit. So our vegetable mixture has been sauteing for about five minutes. I'm actually gonna remove half of this because my pan's not gonna be big enough to cook this all at one time. So I'm gonna remove half and then add the rest of it later. So what we're gonna do now is take our ground beef. We're gonna add that to the mixture, crumble that up. Now that the ground beef is crumbled up, we'll add in the one teaspoon of dried oregano. Give it a lot of flavor. And then we'll give it a couple turns of black pepper and then some sea salt. So allow this to cook thoroughly. Now let's work on the sweet potatoes. Now we have these two guys here. We're going to first peel them with a peeler, simply like that. Now that our ground beef has been browned, let's take our sweet potato and we're just gonna slice with our peeler the sweet potato right into the mixture. Okay, now that we have our sweet potatoes in the mixture, let's mix it all together so the sweet potato noodles will cook. And the last thing we gotta do is take our tomato, crushed tomato mixture or tomato sauce and pour it on to make that bolognese sauce. We'll turn the heat down even lower now because we just want to simmer this all together to get all those flavors to join. 
Now that we have the sauce covering all of the meat, all of the pasta from the potatoes, we're just gonna let this simmer for 15 minutes. Ooh, we are ready to eat. Let's dish some of this out onto a plate. And as you can see, there's tons of leftovers here for us to take to work, to put in our Tupperware right here, to have for snacks through the day. Add a little bit of oregano over top. So there you go, Team Live Lean. Just another delicious, easy recipe. We threw in real ingredients into a pan. We cooked it all together, even the sweet potatoes, and now it's ready to eat. Look how delicious that looks. Now let's see if it passes the damn, that's good test. Mm. Damn, that's good. Another winner, Team Live Lean. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these recipes. Hopefully you're using them to live lean. It's that simple to put together delicious food like this. Thanks for being a member. We'll see you at the next episode. Mm. So there you go. When you cook right like this, like we show you here every single week on TeamLiveLean.com, when you're putting the right foods in your body, you just feel good. But when you put the right foods in your body and it tastes damn good too, you are going to be on top of the world. Real food can taste awesome if you know what you're doing in the kitchen. And that's what we teach you every single week at TeamLiveLean.com. Click that like button right down there if you enjoyed this episode. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click subscribe button down there as well. We shoot episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Thank you so much for watching and keep living lean. Live Lean Nation, if you're one of those people that can't stop snacking at night, stay tuned because I'm going to share how you can snack at night and still lose weight.